Thank you, Tish. And thanks, everybody, for giving us uh, the opportunity to share this work that is called Operational Models for Delivering Healthcare in Insecure Settings. They want to show the strategy and the intermittent preventive treatment of children for malaria plus vaccination in Central African Republic. This work uh, is based in one of the big challenges that MSF continues having, no? and yesterday was mentioned in different presentations. How to assure access in insecure settings. So just let me go through the factors that took us to uh, arrive to these two strategies, the one shot and the intermittent preventive treatment for children. We have security challenges for sure, and we have as well in Central Africa, health system constraints. Those health system constraints are taking that our teams cannot access to the population or that the population cannot access to the health services or structures. This population is as well affected by, by displacement. The displacement can be different, of different magnitude and different frequency. At the same time, in Central Free, we have one of the big diseases that is malaria that is affecting uh, many populations and uh, is the first cause of morbidity and mortality for children under five years. And last, we had as well that since 2013, the coverage of vaccination has been weak due to the disruption of the system. So this map shows us the uh, places where MSF works at the moment. These experiences have been developed in three of the projects, we are, which are Cabo, Batangafo, and Endele. Just to illustrate a bit what is our usual way of working in Central Africa, I want to use the chart of Cabo, where we are going to see that we have the start in the Cabo village, that is the city of the, of the district, and we have then the peripheral areas, no? the part of Mariancido, Basara, and Farasala. So in each one of these uh, places, there are structures which MSF supports uh, with the different components that we develop in the program that goes from pediatrics, uh, maternity, HIV, tuberculosis, etc. Our teams, uh, support in terms of training and as well in supplies and constant uh, presence when possible. Usually we do movements from Cabo to the uh, periphery uh, to do this, this job as well. At the same time, we have a community network through the health workers which, uh, who support uh, the activities that uh, we develop, not to complement in terms of information and as well tracing of uh, some patients. When we have problems of access, usually is mainly in the periphery that, uh, rents, uh, that makes that we cannot access to the periphery or the population cannot access to the, to the town. But then what is it? What is what we call the one shot uh, and what is the intermittent preventing treatment? Let's start by the one shot. The one shot is a movement that we do quickly to the periphery when we have uh, the opportunity, and we offer uh, the package for the most vulnerable population that we said that is going to be the children under five, the women, especially as the pregnant women, and if needed, we are going to offer as well mental health. When we talk about the intermittent preventive treatment for children and vaccination, we are talking about administration of artesunat ammonia kind for prevention of malaria, vaccination with a measles vaccine, PCV13 for pneumococco, and pentavalent, and the distribution of mosquito nets. How was it done? The one-shot experience we developed in 2015 in Batangafo as an alternative for the different incidents and problems that we had in the periphery. We did, um, or the way that it was done was through the movement uh, to the periphery when we had the, se uh, the security window, and using always the harm reduction principle. It was needed as well the information to the population through the health promoters that we will arrive that date. For that, we needed always to keep good contact with our networking. In the case of the intermittent preventive treatment and vaccination, it was done in Cabo Batangafo and Endele in 2015 at the bill level and the city level. The alter, uh, uh, 
is, a, is an alternative during the high uh, malaria transmission period and uh, use the uh, massive vaccination campaign format to deliver the service. For this, it's very important to use the community sensitization in order to transmit properly the importance to participate in this campaign and how it's going to be done, because we set up different sites uh, in, the, in the periphery. So what were the results? In Batangafo, in 2015, through the one-shot activity, we managed to do 18 movements to the periphery. In those 18 <laughs> movements, we covered 3,300 children with vaccination. We did 50 unit counseling sessions in mental health in five points, where it was considered due as well to the incidence or the situation at that moment. 2,400 children were screened for malnutrition, and those who were found uh, with the criteria to be included in the, in the program was, were therefore included. 150 cases of malaria were treated, and 45 reproductive health consultations were done. 30 of them were for uh, pregnancy. In the case of the intermittent preventive treatment for malaria and vaccination, four rounds were done. In average, for the four rounds, we got a coverage for the artesunate ammonia key administration of 86%, over the 15,300 kids that were targeted as an estimation. And we distributed more than 40,000 mosquito nets. In the case of the vaccination coverage, we used uh, for the presentation measles, and we got 81% uh, of coverage. We refer as well some uh, uh, malaria cases, complicated. Although we cannot go so much in detail in this presentation, I just want to show with this graphic something that we keep uh, still no, for, for the analysis that we have seen a reduction in the uh, number of cases of malaria uh, that had been in the uh, external consultation. In the, the green line is the data for 2015, and the red and blue are for 2014 and 13. The arrows are just showing the moment where we did the uh, campaign of the intermittent preventing treatment. <coughs> As conclusions, we can say that for us, the two strategies have allowed us you know, to have a delivery of service uh, to the population that otherwise with our usual model, we have not been able on that, on that period. Then we have as well that the sexual reproductive health was a missed opportunity, taking in consideration that children are taken by moms, sisters, aunties to these kind of activities, and that most probably we could have been done more. But the uh, reasons given by the teams is the volume perception. The coverage of vaccination, although was not fully measured, uh, we have noticed that we were able to increase ten, more than ten, 10 times the number of children that get in contact with the service compared with the previous year. And that these strategies could be considered and be adapted wherever there is need. The challenges that we face and we continue facing uh, for in these activities is the data registration, the difficulty to know exactly when we could do that movement because it depends as well of the security window, the way to include better no, these sexual reproductive health elements, and the team capacity in terms of flexibility and way to adapt and react uh, on time no, to adjust for the, for the moment. The limitations for the work that I'm presenting today are mainly related to the data collection, because as I said before, we miss better data to uh, present the, data, uh, the vaccination coverage. We realize that it could be interesting as well to have an individual database to uh, see how many times the kid has contact with these kind of activities and make a better follow-up per child. And the difficulty that we had to launch the um, coverage survey that was planned uh, for last year, but due to security issues, we couldn't do it on time. What are the next steps for us? Well, we can, uh, and we are in the line of continue no, to look for alternatives for this kind of, of context, and specifically in CAR, how better we could adjust and deliver the service. 
uh, to see as well that these strategies could be as well a need no? or, or a possibility for other emergency contexts. To avoid missed opportunities in sexual reproductive health, as minimum, we would like to introduce, uh, and already the teams are doing this year, the vaccination of women during these uh, uh, strategies and to maintain the catch-up vaccination as a basic in the component due to the positive results no, in, a, in, in catch up uh, or in the calendar for the for the kids to improve of course the data collection system so um, as acknowledgement of course we have the population and staff from batangafo cabo and endele and today i would like to mention as well in memoriam of our colleague from msf hola who was uh, killed this week in one of these incidents a driver in bosangoa project and of course to all of you thanks for your attention